Hey guys, it's me again, Star Fox, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on C++ for those who want to learn on how to program in C++. So what you're going to do first is, well, first you want to get the program, so what you want to do is you want to go to your browser, and then you're going to type in here, code blocks, yeah, there it is, code blocks dot org. I should take you to this website. Uh, let it load for a bit. Okay. Then you just go to downloads. And then go to download the binary release. But since I already have it, um, actually. Yeah. And then you choose, uh, j we're going to be using, uh, this one right here. No, this one. So just grab that one and then, uh, actually. I uh, just click sourceforge.net or whatever, which one. Yeah, so, and then go through download instructions and download it and, yeah, and everything. So, then you want to exit out of your browser. Then you want to go, it'll open up the program, and then you just hit continue, go through the whole uh, setup thing. And then, when you get to this page, you just click, uh, we're just going to create a new project. And uh, select console application. And then select C++ and then project title we'll just call this YouTube okay then click finish and then it should just oh well you go here and it should show up in your workspace then you just go over here to wherever it's called uh, whatever you named it uh, but for me it's called the YouTube tutorial then you go down here sources and click main CP. Okay. So then you get something like this. And this is a template, so it should have something run it in and if you uh run it and to run it you just click this right here, but you wanna build and run. And it just says Hello World has the first program that you should probably make. Okay. But woo but I'm gonna teach you some other stuff to do in here. So, oop, messed up. Okay. Okay. So, beginning uh, programming, you want to have all your stuff set up. So, uh, I guess that's necessary. And mm, I guess that's necessary. I don't know what the heck that is. But here, this is a function. And the function is called main. So, right in here, you just uh, type in all your code. So first, um, I think we're going to set, let's just go with the main, uh, how to output a uh, string. So what you're going to do is you're going to type C out the arrows and then um, let's just call this, well, let's just say hi YouTube. My name is Star Fox. Except I messed up saying Star Fox. Okay. Then you type return zero to end the program. Okay, save it. Um, go up here to run. Build and run. And there it is. It says, hi YouTube, my name is Star Fox. So that's a very simple program and really easy to do. So next we're gonna step it up a bit. So what we want to do is I'm gonna make a program that says ask for your name. It says hi what is your name? And then to get input it's much easier and simpler than Java because all you have to type is C in space and then well we have to have a variable to store it in so but this is a more complex program so if you would use if you wanted to store a number you would use a variable so like in integer or a short or a long if you're using long numbers but we're just going to uh, make uh, a string and then we'll just call it 
string name, put a semicolon. But we need also need to import some stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, go like this. Type include string and then include ss stream okay and if you don't have that and you use string string it'll just come up in the build log and say oh uh, it's there's an error and whatever and blah 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 and yeah so we need to have that in order for this to work just like we have that um okay so then we have a string name and then here we type get line brackets or parentheses c in and then name or the very well we want to store it in or the string we want to save the word in okay then you call string stream and I think it's um Uh, I can't remember if it's that. Oh yeah, it's like that. And then you store it into name. Okay. Yep, okay. And then when it's out there, you just type uh, C out just says hi no wait hi ugh. hi space and then to add an extension you type the variable name so it just goes name well, actually first okay oh well, what I forgot to add here is um well, well oh yeah so what we want to do is if you want to it's gonna run through here it's gonna make this all in one line so we're just gonna add this and what this does is this tells this tells um this tells the uh, compiler that it's gonna go to the next line so whenever you're, you're making a program or a string or something this moves it to the next line and displays the next string so in here we're just gonna make oops Okay. Then end line. Okay. Save it. Run it, and hopefully there will be nothing. But it seems that there's an error. Well, I think I messed up a bit. I'm just gonna open another C. I'm just gonna cheat a bit. So, let's see. Oh, we need to have another variable. So let's just call this integer string. And then we'll just store it in here. String. Oh, okay, I messed up. Another thing in programming is you cannot have, you cannot make identifiers that already have reserved keywords so a reserved keyword would be string or initiative or I mean integer or get line you can't have that it has to be uh, another identifier so uh, we have to change this to something else like words words and then you just okay Oops. Forgot to exit that out. Okay. Oops, still running it. Um. Uh, 
Ugh, we'll just get rid of this. You don't need this anyways, unless you're going to end a line or something, which is not really necessary. Alright, so it says, hi, what's your name? Uh, who type Star Fox? It says, hi, Star Fox. See? Okay, so a very simple program, and uh, what it does is just, you type in, it asks you for your name, type in your name, saves it into the, uh, saves the string into the name, the word name, then string stream here, uh, takes the string and puts it into words, which isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. So, let's see if it still does it now. Hey, what's your name? Star crack or whatever. And it messed it up. Oh well. So yeah, what it means is just you don't need to do this. This is just garbage, so just save it. Actually I don't even think Wait, let me experiment for a bit. Alright, what's your name? Oh yeah, you don't even need that. You don't even need the string string. So I guess that was kind of useless. But oh well. So now we're going to be moving to something harder. Harder. And I think I'm running out of time, but oh well, who cares. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to now use control, control structures. And what a control structure does is it's like uh, the if statement or the do statement or the for statement or the while statement well the while statement is kind of a loop but yeah so we're just gonna make a program and we're just gonna call this lock or whatever this is just a tutorial so let's say we're just gonna make a new variable and this variable is gonna be the passcode alright and then another variable you separate variables by using the comma so you can have more than one um, unless you want to learn unless you want to use an array which is like uh, let's just say pass and then you type in your values like 78 89 or whatever but that's more complex and we'll, I'll get into that later in another tutorial but for now we're just going to use um, simple variables so we're just going to use pass and we just need exit and um what else pass exit and just put confirm it has confirmation okay and then next we're going to type in uh c out we're going to say please enter the pass word and then next line so that we don't write it on the same line and then so we're going to use the cn statement that we learned and then we're going to store it into confirm and then it says we're going to make a control structure so it's going to be if brackets if confirm is equal to pass then do this so what we want it to do is we want it to say what the heck no we don't want to say what, what the heck I just uh, never mind oh uh, we're just gonna want it to say see uh, um, we're just gonna make it say Ack says granted. Okay. And then this we're just gonna make this so that C and exit. And then we're just gonna type if exit equals one then just return.
Okay. And then if we also want another if, then we can just put else if. Which is practically another else. So if else if confirm is not equal to pass, then say see out say access denied okay so yeah I forgot to add there okay so let's try this um, let's just get rid of this okay Okay, so it says, please enter the password. Um, I didn't enter a password yet, so I guess this will be a bit different. So we forgot. Let's just make a password. Our password will be something easy like 1234 or um, something else. Okay. And then exit. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll just do it that way. Okay, so please enter the password. Now, if we type in the wrong password, like just type in a random number, it says access denied. Okay? And then, if we type in the real password, it says access granted. And then you just type in one to exit or whatever but we want this to end in a loop so if we get it wrong it just takes us back to the please enter the password so we want to do we want to write type the the loop while and then we want to try type true which true means it's always the loop is always going so then we just do that and Okay, save it. Always save your work. And then, there we go. So, now if we enter the wrong password. And then, oh, oh. Hold on. Uh, let's just do this. Okay. Okay, there we go. And it says, please enter the password. So, type in the wrong password again. And it says access denied and then it repeats it. So if we do say it, it says access granted. And then you just press one to exit. So and then the one to exit is right here. It says F and then we type in exit and then if exit equals one then it return then it ends the program. Well that's it guys and uh that's for now, that's the beginner's tutorial and I'll have another tutorial out soon. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, visit my new website. It has plenty of stuff to help you with. And then, yeah, so that's it. Thanks.